Hi guys, welcome to the video. Alright, today's video we'll be looking at the new Mythic Outlander. You can get it from the quest line. It will be on the fifth page. And the quest line is not this one, it is called Behind Beyond the Stellar Horizon. And it'll be on the fifth page right here. And also when you guys complete this red carpet quest, you're also gonna get a uh, new perk. It comes with this hero, and that's what we're going to be looking at. The hero and the perk. Now, let's go to the hero. <clears throat> so, her abilities are Shock Tower, Seismic Smash, and Phase Shift. That's it. Her perks. Alright, so Commander Perk. Increases, increases ability energy damage by 15.5%. Additionally, Shock Tower explodes, dealing 107 energy damage to nearby enemies. So right away, in my head, I'm like, this is perfect for a canvas. Now, this will increase the abilities. So Shock Tower will increase by 15.5% percent damage, the seismic smash, uh, phase shift doesn't do nothing. Also, I did a test, and it also increases the damage for the turret, which is amazing. Now, let's look at the build. So yeah, the team perk is zap, so zap has your back. Dealing 105 base energy damage to random enemy every 6 seconds. Now for the support team, we got Plasma Arc. So his standard perk is energy damage has a 20% chance to zap nearby enemies for 58% of damage dealt. <clears throat> and then I get another uh, Space Explorer hero. You need two, two, explain, uh, two Space Explorer heroes to activate this perk. Sorry guys, I'm really tired. I should have been sleeping like 4 or 5 hours ago. But anyways, this one just increases energy damage by 26% against shield. Shielded enemies. And then we have Survivalist. Locked and Reloaded. And then some more uh, damage to the Shock Tower. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go get some gameplay of this new hero. So I'll be back. Alright, this is how the hero looks like, guys. So we're here for the... Increases ability energy damage. By 15%. And then the shock tower explodes. So we're gonna test the shock tower. And also, you get a friend, buddy, next to you. And he, he also has dialogue, so I'm probably gonna be my mic. And you guys can hear what he's saying, so I'll be back. Alright, so that's some of the voice lines for this little robot. Now, the shock tower immediately exploded when I placed it down. Wow. So yeah, definitely with this hero, you... I would 100% recommend you guys do a Kamens with this hero. 
But you guys also can do a regular mission if you want. But right now, all I see is this hero is useful for is a cannons. All right, guys, here's Zap Zap doing some damage to the Smasher. It does decent amount of damage. It takes away like at least like 10%. But if I have more people, it will increase the tech. But yeah, let's test the seismic smash and the shock tower. It took about like 10% health. The seismic smash. Yeah, same thing. Oh yeah, the turret has increased damage. There you go. Oh, also, you can do like a uh, stealth mode. You can uh, like sneak through, they can't hear you. See, look, the taker's still standing still. But, uh, it can help the turret. I think it will be way better if it was 3 second cooldown instead of 6 second. But it should, it should be able to one shot these type of enemies. We'll see. Uh, almost. Alright, but yeah, we gotta go find that cannon real quick, and then we're gonna end the video. Also, this this is useful for a storm chest farm. Since you guys got increased ability damage. So now the turrets will kill them faster. Alright, here we go. Gonna pile them up. Three, two, one. They only killed four enemies. That shock tower. Alright, we got a cannon here. I'm gonna pile the uh, zombies up, and then we're gonna throw down the shock tower and see if it can destroy everything. So, here we go. Yep, it wiped everything. So that's what I'm saying, this is perfect build for a cannon. So, I'm gonna end the video off there. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out. Bye guys, I love you. And one more thing. It's going to be more useful for uh, higher level storm chests. So when you guys throw up your turrets, you'll have increased damage. It's not going to be that much damage. I'm going to show you guys a clip without the buff and with the buff. So you guys are going to see how much increased damage you get with the hover turrets. But yeah, bye.